Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another horse review. It seems like this type of video is common on my channel because SSO is releasing new horses often. This horse had mixed reviews, so I wanted to put together the full display for everyone. As always, this video will include my personal opinion of the horse, but will also give you all the factual background of the breed, a good view of what this horse includes, and also some small things I noticed about it. Remember that all of your opinions are validated, and feel free to share them with others down below. Lastly, I put a tiny pinned comment down below to guide you through the video, so if you'd like to skip to certain parts, then feel free. I hope you enjoy! Pergeron, one of the many breeds that make up the collection of gentle giants in the equine world. These hefty framed horses were introduced to the French to pull cavalry, transport soldiers, and help with heavy duty work. Eventually, in the early 1800s, they were imported to America, where they began to thrive as the magnificent beauties began their journey to compete in other sports, like horse shows and harness pulling. History books even opened up to more exotic events, like circus riding. Due to how helpful they were in multiple work regions, many other countries began requesting import, letting this small and almost unknown breed begin to flourish. The French valued this breed thoroughly, with their naturally calm and wholehearted nature making it easy for transport, but also a typical family farm horse. With these horses being the most lively out of the draft population, we saw statistics of them being able to travel up to 40 miles per day pulling the weight equivalent to multiple people. Today's Pergerons are not much different, except for some stronger lineage and more advanced breeding. Like most other drafts, these colossal creations are gentle and willing to do anything. They're a good option for both English and Western riding, or just a good horse around the farm. Star Stable's release of the Pergeron was surprisingly quick. They didn't even release the official trailer until the day before the horse breed was brought into the game, which makes the breed all the more exciting. Let's go over the offered horse colors. There are six models being offered currently, each model is priced at 850 star coins, which is relatively cheap for a new horse. At Fort Pinto, we have the Dapple Grey being offered to lower levels. At Marley's Farm, we have the remaining. We have the Aged White, Black, Flax and Chestnut, Bay, and also a flashy version of the Dapple Grey coming in in a more aged and steel grey toned with a greyed bald face. The Pergeron is also marketed with updated barrack style bridles, coming in three different tones of black, white, and brown, with silver and brass tones matching each model. This breed is also the first draft breed in Star Stable that allows accessories on the legs such as open front boots and leg wraps, which is a very exciting feature for such a classy looking horse. Before we move on to the gates, let's look at the mane and tail style. The default is definitely a look, coming with a voluminous and thick looking combination. The reason I really do enjoy this look is because the tail actually looks like it has definition, which really isn't seen in most recent breeds such as Yorvik Frisian and Arabian. It has good animations that make it look like it has its own movement and not just part of a digital creation. It has a unique style and we also have some more fancy braids to go with our styles. Lastly, the feathering definition on the hoof is also something we can see well, with a classy trimmed appearance to it. I am not going to hesitate, the gates are my least favorite. The walk makes the horse look like it's borderline lame, and the hand gallop and above make the horse look like its back is stiff. Though I really do like the canter and the special movement.
can't smell the coffee Is your cup half full or empty? When we talk, you say it softly But I love it when you're awfully quiet My favorite part about the jump is that our feet stay in the stirrups. I repeat, our feet stay in the stirrups. Hopefully the days of slippery feet are over. It's been a rough one for the newer breeds that have default no stirrup jumps, and the feet kind of glitch out of the stirrups when we jump. Hopefully Star Stable works more on these bugs where the reins are also going into the horse's necks. Now that we've gone over the breed as a whole, what are your opinions on it? Do you think SSO did well with this breed? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like this video to show your support and stay healthy and safe. And drink water, it's getting so hot out. Love you all. Come a little closer like that. Staying up all night, throwing drinks back.